Hey everybody, it's Nora, and I screwed up the last video, which is great. Um, I'm always celebrating my students' uh, mistakes, so I'm going to celebrate mine right now. And because I made these mistakes, I actually made three, um, I think I know it better. So if I hadn't made those mistakes, I wouldn't be as knowledgeable as I am right now. So... I'm going to show you what's going on here. I'm actually creating something really, really, really for my students. Um, really, it's just <laughs> yeah, really uh, a worksheet that I am just putting in Desmos. So um, I want to know if the students are typing in the equations correctly, and I want them to know as well. And just a disclaimer here, you don't always have to have it that way. You can always um, work on something that's not necessarily you know, there's one correct answer. Um, but that's what this assignment is, and it does have its place. So let's get started. So my students, right now, we are going to be studying writing linear equations in uh, just a few days, so I'm working ahead here. And I want to give them information and have them write an equation in slope-intercept form. So the answer to this is y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 8. I will know that they're correct. They will know that they're correct. And I like doing this in the beginning uh, because I can quickly identify students who are struggling and those who are being super successful. All right. So I just created a video for this problem. And this is the one that I made a bunch of mistakes on. So now you're going to see me uh, complete screen four here, which is actually number three. It gets a little confusing. Okay. So let's start a new one. And I need a note component to give the students feedback. I need a note component to give them the problem and math input for them to put their answer. Now, if you are not going to be giving your students uh, the feedback on whether they're correct or not right away, uh, you can you know, eliminate one of these note components. Okay, so I'm gonna put the directions here. This one, we want to write the equation of the line in slope-intercept form that has a slope of negative 3 and a ooh, y-intercept of 4. And you all know that even though we're giving them basically the answer here, it's just to see, are they internalizing this and understanding the information that was given to them? All right, I'm going to label my math component. I'm gonna label it math four, because this is screen four. Okay, now, here is to hoping I learned from my mistakes. We are gonna go into the math component, and this is where we are going to let the teacher know if the students are getting this correct. So this would either be the check or the X on the dashboard. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is uh, give a variable. This is screen four. It is screen four. All right, so I'm gonna put student input four. Oh, my cursor here. Parse equation. So once you start to type that, it'll show up. What does that mean? I have no clue. I just use it. And I think that's the beauty of this. You don't have to know exactly what you're doing to be able to use it. And also you don't have to know exactly what you're doing to be able to create videos and share your knowledge with other people. So I'm obviously not an expert. And I think that makes me a little more approachable too, because uh, I think there's a lot of new people out there as well who need to see that I don't know either, but I'm using it. All right. Here's where you're gonna put the name of the math component. So this is math four dot latex. I think latex has to do with string, uh, unless to do with condoms, not sure. Dot difference function. And here's where you have to put your variables, y and x in that order. I had x and y and I kept uh, nothing was working. And then I went back and I was like, oh yeah. In the sample I found online, it was y then x. Um, can't remember which activity I studied to learn this. Okay, so now variable 4a. 
4a. 4a. Uh -huh. um, this will be where this input, student input 4, we're going to evaluate that at parentheses, numeric value. Now here's where you're sort of going to put an ordered pair solution of the answer you want. So the answer I want is y equals negative 3x plus 4. I'm just going to put this down here. I know that I'm getting a bunch of error messages, but that's just for me. That's what I know the answer is. I'm going to delete it later on. All right. Um, so what we're going to have to do here is we'll come back to those parentheses, comma, an x value. So I'm just going to go with 1. So if I were to substitute 1 in for x, what do I get for y? I would get 1. That goes here in quotation marks. Why? I don't know. And then close that. Now, because this is a difference function, I want to know the difference in these two things, and I don't want them to be different. I want the difference to actually be 0. All right. Now, your students could type in um, a function that has a solution of 1, 1 and isn't the answer you want. So you're going to have to give like another ordered pair. Okay? I, don't, I hope that's making sense. So we're going to take this. We're going to copy and paste it over here after the end. So I want 1, 1 to be a solution, but I also want another ordered pair. So if this is 2, negative 2. So this is the y value, this is the x value. So if I substituted 2 in here, I would get negative 2 for y. So now I'm going to delete this. I don't, I don't really need it. All right. Desmos now knows if it's correct. Now you want the teacher to know. So correct. And it will be correct if variable 4a happens. <gasps> Let's check to make sure I did that correctly. So the correct answer is y equals negative 3x plus 4. Yes. Whew. Learning from my mistakes. If you want to stop here because you're not going to let the students know how they're doing, then stop here. Otherwise, I'm going to keep going. I'm going back into my math component to steal some of this code. I mean copy. So I'm going to copy those two lines. And I'm going to paste them here in this note component for my feedback. All right. So now the next thing is my when otherwise statement. So I'm going to go with variable 4b will equal. When variable 4a happens, that means they're correct. So I'm going to give them the green check mark. Otherwise, if variable 4a doesn't happen, and that means their equation is not correct. And I want them, why did that happen? There. Okay. So now this component knows it, but you have to display it for the students. So the content of this note will say correct. And then I want the result of variable 4b. So dollar sign, curly bracket, variable 4b, close the curlies, close the quotation marks and this better work. Let's check. y equals negative 3x plus 4. Yes. All right, now you could type all that over. God bless your little heart. Let's not do that. Mathematicians love patterns and um, shortcuts. So let's take this screen and I'm going to copy and paste it. So Command C, Command V, poof. There it is again. What I'm going to do, change it to the correct question. So this one says, write the equation in the form that has, right here is where it changes, an x intercept of 6 and a slope, well, this is a good problem, of negative 1 third. So I'll use math type there. Okay, 
I'm going to change this to math five. I don't know if I have to, but I do it anyway. Um, so then inside here, I'm going to change this to a five because this is screen five. I need this to come from the math five component, variable five a, student input five. My, or, well, let's change this right away. This should be five. And this should be five. All right, down here, I'm gonna put what the correct answer is. It's negative one third X plus two. Okay, so if X is three, then Y is one, so that would stay. And if X is six, Y would be zero. Am I looking at the right one? Okay. So let me just double check here. Three, that'll be negative one, that would be one. Six, that would be negative three. Okay, I'm gonna delete this because it's rubbish. I'm going to copy this. I'm gonna go into my note component and change all of this. Delete that, paste that, and change these to fives. Do you need to do this? Honestly, I don't know. All right, let's check. Y equals negative one third X plus two. Yes, so you can uh, continue to do that until you're done. All right, everybody, I hope this was helpful. It was for me. I hope you make some great mistakes today. Have a good one.